Howdy, everyone, Podger here with an Age of Magic video. In today's video, we're moving into Region 3, Level 4. Level 3 was a, um, it was painful. It was painful. So, here we are now. So, we're going to try and blast through this. Is there a boss node? There's not. So, Level 5 is going to have a boss node. I haven't seen what it is yet. I'm scared. So, We'll go through these missions one at a time in order from one to five. And if you're having trouble with one, you can look at the team I use, which I, I understand doesn't help everyone since the difference in arcane stars between my account and a regular player's account or a free to play player's account is obviously very different. But if we have a foundation, then you can go from there. And I apologize if the difference is significant. I really do. It's what I've got to work with though. So let's get into it. Okay, so uh, number one, we will be going in with the goblins. Let's see if we can win with goblins first up. Would be nice if we can. Honestly, if I could have any goblin at level seven, I would want it to be full metal. So is this one or two? This is two waves. Okay, that makes it a little bit trickier. I like the one wave because the goblins are a one wave monster that's where they excel at we do the aoe we get the markup and we take out most of them now it's just all right we use our basics now because we want to start getting cooldowns up but the cooldowns are huge so hopefully the healer or the mage no what characters are missing the tanks there the ropes the ranger Hopefully they, um, something reduces cooldown. This is a disgusting, okay, this is, oh, how are we gonna do this? Take out. Just take her out, yep, okay. Yep, up comes the 10 stacks. Oh, okay. Luckily for us, the goblins have a lot of um, support attacks, so, Hopefully these aren't going to take too long to break through. There we go. We've got a few support attacks there. I still don't understand how the goblins work. This ridiculous faction. Okay, get our thing up. Get our dots up so we can start getting some healing. All right, let's start working these bugs down. We need to get rid of Irizit. Some support attacks going out. 25%. No, I think he still had a stack. Okay, that's one big threat gone. Um, I don't care about the layout. I really don't. Let's go for these Tahits. Our health is dwindling though, which is not great. Ah, oh, we lost the goon. That's not good. Okay, three... Was that here? Is it not a leader either? That's interesting that they didn't put him as the leader. Okay, we put them. That's a shame. We have the markup. Okay. Um, let's take out the next to heat. We lose a lot of damage not having full metal, to be honest. Oh, he was the leader. Why did that other to heat not spawn as an egg? Okay, all right, let's just move on. Let's just take out this next one. There's the egg. Just take out the egg as well, please. I don't want it healing or respawning. And we move on to the layout. It's a very, I think we could have done a bit better. Um, I do not have the time to figure that out yet though. So that's mission one done. We've used the, no. Is the stream lagging? The stream, oh, sorry, the video seems way behind on what I'm actually up to. I'll try and fix that. I apologize for that, if that is the case. Um, but that's mission one done. Okay, we are moving into mission number two and hopefully the stream keeps up with what I'm actually talking about because 
Um, to be honest, that was a little bit frustrating. So we're going to use the Arakan Undead for this one. I might keep Guard. Yeah, I'm just going to keep Guard this time. These are getting quite hard, so to have a tank in the mission will be good. Okay, so we have... Okay, um, Accuracy Decrease on you. Why do you take so much damage for? Why are these characters taking so much damage? They shouldn't be... Mm, something's up. All right, we're going to taunt so people attack you. The accuracy decrease is preventing the Roina from... All right, we're going to go big boy mode so people just take a bit more damage. All right, we're not taking any huge hits here. Uh, if you can take it out. I'm not using my anti-healing either. I'm going to save that for wave number two. It just feels like some missions just haven't been tuned right like the rest they go from real hard and then you come across one that seems real easy for some reason okay and the stream is lagging behind again i don't understand what's going on i might have to restart after this i tried to fix it all right let me just three rasp it's interesting accuracy dig didn't work yeah so the stream is lagging okay Right, I'm just gonna have to try and fix that. So we're up to, uh, yep, so we're gonna use our combo attack, get the anti-healing out. AOE. I apologize, I'm going to try and fix it again after this. So it, it, what you're watching may not match up to what's on my voice, but uh, okay, there's nothing I can do right now in the middle of a battle. All right, we're gonna get healing out. We're attacking a Rasp spit. Um, we'll go god mode so these ras spit spits don't really impact us all that much. This is a um, yeah, this is a tough node. If you can somehow kill Jesus, those ras spits, if you can somehow kill the irizit before he gets his um damage reduction up, I think you'll be on the right path. This is. Okay, so we should be able to kill this Rasp bit, and the egg comes out. Okay, suck up some HP, beautiful. Get the taunt out. Get rid of another. All right, we'll go God Mode again. Let's try and take it. Oh, we can only attack the Rasp bits. Oh, I'm so sorry about this. I, don't, I hate, I don't, I, the problem is I can't re-record it because, I mean, it's a good run. I don't want to throw out a good run in here and have the pain of bad RNG and a possible other run. So we've just killed the second Raspit. We're moving on to the Hillier now. Take her out. She will spawn an egg. We will take out the egg before we move on to the final two Raspits. Initiative increase. And then we've got two Raspits left. So overall successful run. Took a few turns to get through it, but Overall, okay, we got one more egg left, and that is. And it caught up at the end there. I'm so, I've got no idea what's going on. Ah, oh, I feel bad. All right, that's mission two done. We used the Arakan Undead. I'm going to stop the stream, the video, and I'm going to close everything down and restart everything. Okay, we are going into mission three. The most luck I've had is with Orcs. This mission is the hardest I've come across in previous Cradle and this Cradle. And I haven't even got to level 5 yet. The first initial hit of these enemies is astounding. Look at this. Turn after turn after turn after turn after turn before we get our first move. We're at a huge disadvantage. Our first target is this Drake. We need to kill the Drake. The Drake's going to hide everyone on the team. So any damage we did up to that point is worthless. And we are going to have to put our heal out. We're taking a lot of damage just through us losing debuffs from these Lokias. So we need to take out this Drake. Taken out. Let's move on to someone else. Now we need to already start saving our cooldowns for the next round. That's how painful this fight is. We already need to start 
anticipating what's going to come in the next round, which is not fun either. So we're actually killing things too quickly here. I really want my... So I'm just using basics. What does this actually do? Okay, we save that for the next round. Oh, three turns to a Scorching Terror. That's really, really bad for us. We go into this round and we're already hit with the... with a lot. Drake's going to hide the enemy, so we almost have to get rid of this Drake. All right, we get rid... or we trigger that, which is really good. He uses Gas Cloud, which isn't an issue for us. Okay, we need to put this on him and then pummel him. We need to take this Drake out. Beautiful. Okay, the next target is the Acra Shat. Really weird for this fight, but that's okay. Uh, again, I'm going to have to start anticipating cooldowns. I do not want to lose anyone, and I need Scorching Terror for the third wave, which is... Difficult, really difficult. So we need to take out this Naja before she starts. All right, we're going to... Okay. Take out Naja, beautiful. Take out this Lokia, because Lokia is the next threat. Oh, one turn for the heals. Cooldowns are decent. Okay, get the heals out. Oh, okay. I wish I had Arcane. I wish that... Accuracy decrease. Can we kill this? Here is it before he gets a turn. No, we cannot. That is... I kill him anyway. Okay, that's one big threat out of the way. One massive threat out of the way. If we could have killed him before he got that uh, buff out... Uh, it would have made this fight a lot easier. All right, we're hitting this to heat. I don't care what happens now. We're taking out to heat because he's already pretty low on HP. We're going to put him to sleep. That means he's going to take more damage if we can actually hit abilities on him. Okay. Come on. Just take out another character. Beautiful. Let's move on to this Raspit. I'm actually just going to leave the characters that are hiding because if they hide, that's a turn they waste. That's a turn we're not taking damage, and that's literally what it's coming down to at this point. Okay, we just need to take out targets. Okay, that's big. Accuracy decrease out. Let's get rid of this egg. Beautiful. Let's move on to the Hillier while she's out of hiding now. Get some bonus attacks on there. Get rid of those stacks. We get some heals out. Okay, it is... Unlikely we're going to lose this now. Okay, let's take out this Hillier. I've spent a good hour on this fight just trying to figure it out. And this is the best I've come up with. Oh, that first wave just puts you at a huge disadvantage. Massive disadvantage. We need to take out... Why are we missing so much for? Okay, he's in egg form. We need to take out the egg. Okay, final character. All our orcs are alive. I don't know what people are using to pass this. If you've passed this and you've completed the level, all other levels as well, like you're on to level five, you completed this with a different team and were able to complete the other missions as well, let me know what you used because I tried everything and orcs are the only ones that got me there. So we got mission four now. All right, so we're going to use Renegades for that. Okay, jumping into mission four. This is the fourth video in this video, but it's the fifth battle I'm doing. So it all relies on this. Can we kill this node with the Renegades? Because I really wanted to use the Renegades for the final mission, but we're using it here. So we're going to apply the debuff. That's really good. Ah, oh, he still gets it out. Okay, we're going to put everyone to sleep. That's going to get our stacks back up to five, and it's going to give us a chance to get Belladonna back into the game. We're going to remove that. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. And we miss. Okay, of course. All right. Take out Irizet, please, and get those support attacks out, and uh, just do something. Just get rid of these 
characters. Do I want, yeah, I'm just using this right now. I don't care. I'm not messing around anymore. These are threats and we need to extinguish them ASAP. So kill these eggs. Get them out of here. I don't want to see them. I don't want them heal. I don't want them healing. I want them dead. Good. Two eggs down, two eggs up. Two, one egg down, two eggs up. Good. Okay, second wave. Uh, what do we got? Oh, of course, we've got Dark Elves. Oh my god. Okay, there's no Azario though. But that Drake is still going to hide the Dark Elves. So we need to eliminate the Drake. What we are going to do is. Let's just apply the debuffs. Just apply the debuffs. Okay, hopefully our Morrigan AoE ability is up. I think it will be. It will be put everyone to sleep. Just going to use our basic attacks. So Morrigan support attacks and gets a lot of damage out. Kill the Naja. Oh, we finished. <sighs> that was the final one. It's not going to be the final one in the video, but that is all five missions for level four completed. No, I don't care about those heroes. Yeah, I care about some of those heroes. What do we get from the box as well? Oh, level four completed. Oh, that was... Oh, I'm scared of level five. I'm already scared of level five. Oh, beautiful. That's for a Morrigan, I'm pretty sure. Can we use that on Morrigan? We can. Ah... Oh. Oh my god, that was not fun. Oh, we still can't make an item. Oh, we can. Oh, we just need to farm this one core part, core 10. Where can we find it? Oh, we can get it from... Oh, that's a, that's a big grind. I'm not purchasing items. I'm not purchasing equipment. I refuse to. Okay, all right. So that is mission four done. What a fight. We are going to be mission, moving on to mission five soon enough. Okay, so in the video, you'll see mission three and four aren't done, but we're jumping into mission five to see if we can use um, a different faction to kill this node because we are having some trouble with the other ones. So we're going to go you guys, take you out, and we'll put... Vulcan in. We'll see if the Archons can kill this. This is the final one. Okay, so what do we got? Three waves. Okay, that's okay. Oh, okay. This might be decent. This... This first wave is not hard at all. There's nothing on this first wave that's really strong that can do huge amounts of damage to us. So we can absolutely ramp up our shields here. I've just got to be careful with using AoEs because the other the Archons are going to get some stacks up for damage. So let's go ahead and just attack this. So we'll blind them. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. We just need to take... Oh, these tanks are going to be a bit use. Oh, that tank is 24 stacks, so we need to kill him. There we go. Okay, so let's move on to the next tank. He's at seven stacks. So you essentially have to kill them before they come out and absolutely wallop you. That's the danger here. So we're just using single targets because we do not want um, stacks to be racking up on enemies. All right, Vulcan can go back into support mode and get some more shields out, some more protection. Vulcan, finish that bad boy off, please. There we go. Okay, so, so why did the other one not go into egg form? I don't get it. Okay, there we go. All right, let's go for ear, is it next? Those Hilliers actually might be a pain. Okay, take out Irizit. Nice. 
Let's go for the Hilliers next. They can actually do a lot of damage, surprisingly. And I do not want them killing my... Alright, let's just reset. No, it doesn't reset. Get some barrier up. Get some barrier up. Get some healing out. I just... Yeah, this... This is going to be a lot of turn. This is a stole fight. Oh, this would be really easy with the um, Renegades, but I feel I'm, I'm at the moment I'm going to have to use the Renegades for a different node because there's one other node I'm really struggling with. So you will be watching this fight as the fifth fight in the video, um, which is unfortunate, but when you get to it, you'll the fight I was struggling with was fight three. Ooh. so that's where we're at at the moment so what we're doing now is just racking up our shields so we can go into the rest of this fight because the Archons aren't a boosted faction so they're not horrible they just don't have that extra oomph that you really really want alright let's take out this last Hillier we've wasted 73 turns on this single node so far this may be like a 150 turn a run oh my god i can see why people are struggling in region three region three is not fun oh my god it's still going this first wave wave one of three has taken me 88 turns okay two roy nice not good reset initiative just get taunts out. I just need to trigger. All right, let's blind them. If I can trigger one of them, beautiful. Just triggering even one is great for me right now. AOE. Okay. We'll trigger the second one. Protect ourselves. Oh, look how much shield they remove. Take you out as well. Okay. Now we can stole a little bit on this and get our shields back up. We'll take out this bloke here in the back. I'm healing even though we're full HP because healing at full HP gives us shield. And shield is our friend. We're up to 110 turns. Oh, okay. Let's take out the next Azariel and go. Oh, I hope this doesn't. Oh, I hope this works. I hope we can win wave three because I've wasted a lot of time just getting to this point. Get some barrier up, shield barrier, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. I would like to have Vulcan in hide mode before we go into the wave. Yep, okay, wave three. What have we got? Oh, this doesn't look horrible. This doesn't look horrible at all. Okay. Reset some initiative here. Just keep striking them. Vulcan should be coming up. Can Vulcan kill this Azariel? Azariel's hidden, of course. So stupid. Ah, oh, Azariel. We need to take out Azariel. Can Vulcan do it? She should be able to. Yeah, nice. Okay. Let's heal up. Oh, no. I forgot about the Drake. Of course, Drake has Acid Fog. Ah. Oh. No, Acid Fog is on us. It's damaging us slowly. Let's get rid of it. Thank God. Okay, let's take out this Raspit. We actually haven't lost any characters yet, and this has been a very long battle. We're at 150 turns. But the Archons are doing their job. Like I said, we're not doing this run for points. We're doing this run to complete Cradle of Chaos. And then later on, we can come back and worry about points. Because I guarantee you, 
this is not the team to be using for this node. If you're after the win, sure. If you're after points, absolutely not. It's 162 turns at the moment. This is looking to be like 175-ish run, especially with this riser underground. Okay, he's out now. Now we pummel him. Now we absolutely punish him. Get rid of him. Come on. Finish him off. 168 turns. Oh my god, what a fight. What a fight. That is... That was an 8 minute fight. Oh! We had 2 minutes and 27 seconds left on the timer. I forgot there was even timers in these battles. Imagine we ran out of time. Oh, so that's mission 5. And that is um, level 4 done because I have to go back and record this. But in the video, this will be the last video uh, fight you see. So there we go. Level 4 completed.